Hi there, welcome back to the Weekly Word. We're kind of a special place to me today. Outside of uh, Teleco Plains, just off of Highway 310, I believe this is a ball play road, on a little old creek called uh, Smoky Run. This is a sacred place to me because uh, this is really a neat place. My grandfather was baptized here. My dad was baptized here. I was baptized here. My daughter was baptized here. And lots of friends and neighbors around this area I like to come here and get uh, baptized. It's in front of Poplar Bluff Baptist Church. Poplar Bluff's always been good about uh, opening up this place to allow other churches to baptize here too. And they built this little slide gate many years ago in the stream. And you just crank it down the, like the night before. And it fills this up really deep. And look at the wall over here and see it gets up uh, plenty, plenty deep enough to baptize in. And it's just a, a beautiful little stream coming right out of the Cherokee National Forest. I like old-fashioned baptisms. We've got a lot of uh, nice churches with baptistries in them these days and that's good for the winter time for sure but they're just nothing like a, an old creek or river baptism like they used to do it in the old days old preachers say baptize in living water they call it when it was running like this so, i don't know the important thing is have you placed your trust in the lord jesus christ by grace through faith you're saved and then you want to publicly declare that by following him and baptized jesus said whoever believes in me and is baptized shall be saved um, the, great, the faith is what saved you, but the baptism part is like you've got enough faith to share in a community of faith with a sacred ritual that's been going on for over 2,000 years now. Hope you've been baptized and placed your trust in the Lord. If you place your trust in the Lord and ain't been baptized, see some local preacher and uh, talk to him or about it, and he'll uh, definitely take care of you there. We'll see you next week on the Weekly Word.